taking a look at the Miniware SA80. It's a mini soldering station adapter and it comes in this nice box. We've got the SA80 here. So that's the adapter and it's connected to this soldering iron, the SA80. It comes with this nice little stand and I've put the little like pads here to help it stay put. So let's hook it up and see how it works. The first thing we need to do is upgrade the firmware. On the forum, we'll find the latest firmware, upload it via USB-C. This will allow the adapter to work with this because it's got a profile configured and it auto detects it all. You can simply remove the hot plate, put it somewhere safe, and now we need to connect the adapter using these pins. So it's all lined up. Boom, there it is. Okay, we're ready to plug it in. So we can see the modules being detected. It's got SA80 and if we go through, we've got software version two and hardware version one. So that's looking good. Let's go back and heat it up. So just going into the T1 first profile. So it should go to 300 degrees Celsius. That's slowly flickering and it should go fast when it's maintaining that constant temperature around 300 degrees. So you notice on the handle here, it's got that fast flickering. So that's a cool feature if you don't want to keep referring to the screen and you know what temperature you're going to. <laughs> so let's give it a go. I was given this faulty M3. It's got a XHP 70.2 emitter here and only half of it turns on. So it's got a nice anti-reflective coating there. So let's turn it on. And I'm not sure if you can pick it up. Only half, the right half, is not turning on, so only half of it is turning on. So let's open this up and see if we can reflow the LED and fix it, or just replace the LED. So first things first, let's remove the bezel. Let it drop out. Okay, cool. We've got to desolder some wires to get the MCPCB out and remove some screws. There's also that gasket, so let's remove the gasket first. There we go. So it's only lightly glued in place. Oh, it's right off. Let's remove the screws. So that's the shelf of the M3. There's enough thermal paste there. Let's clean the back of this and see if we can reflow it and just fix it. <laughs> cool, that looks pretty clean. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to a hot plate. Okay, so I'll swap this over, let's check the info module none. Oh, it's actually the hot plate. So let's take the cover off and start using it. We'll hit it up to 220 degrees Celsius. So that's getting pretty hot. And that's removed. Let's see. So that pad's a bit weird. That could have been the issue. There we go. Let's turn the heater off. So just quickly use this tester. And it's working. Looks like the whole LED is working too now. 
I think it was just that pad was missing solder. That's a bit weird. Hmm. Let's rotate it around. Yeah, that must have been it. Just the pad was missing solder on the bottom, so it's reflowed okay with the MHP50. This thing's still a little bit hot. Hopefully the silicon works. I wonder if it's safe to remove. Overturn. <laughs> nope. Uh, might have to let it cool down for a bit before switching back. Need to add a bit of thermal paste. There's already a bucket load of thermal paste there, but let's add a little bit more. Put a little dab in the middle here. Or a big dab. <laughs> Either works. Probably enough for now. Okay, that's green, so it should be safe to remove. Gonna unplug that anyway. It is a bit warm. And let's plug this one back in. So, smoosh. And add some power. There we go. There we go, and I'll put the screws in. Here's the other screw. Let's solder these in the correct place. Can I heat it up again? So it's doing that slow flash. Boom, now it's ready. Okay, that is interesting. And I think we're good now. Before we put it all back together, let's just test it and see if it works. Hold for moonlight. We've got power. Turbo. Hold for moonlight. Awesome, it is working. So let's clean it up and put it back together. Okay. So that's in there now. Let's check it one more time. Cool beans. It is working. <laughs> nice one. This Convoy M3 flashlight has been successfully repaired by reflowing the emitter and all it took was a soldering iron and a hot plate. So I've used the MHP50 hot plate to reflow and the SA80 adapter to to solder or desolder and solder on the MCPCB wires. So yeah, nice and easy. If you'd like to get this yourself, you can check out websites like AliExpress and yeah, look up Miniware's yeah, new adapters. They've got multiple different versions of this. This is just the the TS80 type model. So it's got the tips for the TS80, but this is called the SA80. So thanks for watching.